Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Longu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Longu. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. Thank you for 18,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. And I mean, keep the suggestions coming. And we appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you to the person that suggested this. I hope all of you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Muslim Arab man turns to Christ and gives a simpler, gives a simple reminder. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Speaking the truth, but not applying it. Uh, and uh, we don't want to apply it. We think that it's enough to tell people the gospel. That's not true. Because this is not what Jesus did. Uh, I remember the disciples, after Jesus finishing his intercourse with the multitude, uh, they said, okay, chief, let's pack it, send them home. And Jesus said, send them where home? These people are hungry, they want to eat. But you told them the message, you told them the gospel. Why should we feed them? Let them go home. And, and we're like the disciples today. We like to send people home. We don't want to get into the trouble of feeding them and taking care of them and worrying about them. Uh, we're too busy. Uh, we are so entangled with the affairs of this world that we have no time to love anymore. We need to make time to love. We need to start realizing why Jesus left us on this earth. The reason we exist as Christians on this earth is to shine. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. We are a people of good works. That's why we're here. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. That's Paul. This is from the Bible. I'm not making up this. The reason we are here is to live for Christ. Regardless of what is our profession. As a doctor, I'm here to live for Christ. As a pastor, I'm here to live for Christ. As a businessman, I'm here to live for Christ. In my profession, Christ has to be glorified and declared. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to accumulate wealth. I'm not here to earn degrees. I'm not here to do any of these things. Today in the Middle East, it's open doors. The Muslim world is in despair. The brothers are killing each other. Young people are helpless and hopeless. They are looking for an alternative. The alternative is not there because we are afraid. We need to start bringing the alternative home to them. We need to go. We need to start invading the Middle East with love, not with cruise missiles. We need to erect lighthouses for Jesus Christ. And that's what I am in. We started in Tyre, now we're moving to Jordan, and to every place we can, we are going to erect a lighthouse for Jesus Christ. A door for people to enter in and know the love of God. That's my vision for the Middle East. And that vision I wanted to share with churches in America today. I, I say to the churches in America, stop being complacent. Rise up to the challenge that God has placed in front of you today. Today it's open doors. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. 
Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no man will shut. And it's interesting that God set open doors in front of the church of Philadelphia. The word Philadelphia means brotherly love. It takes love to take advantage of open doors. No love, no open doors. I call on all brothers in America and churches to love the Muslims everywhere. Not to argue with them. Not to do apologetics or go into Islamics or try to find... Com there is nothing common between us and them except that we are human. And we have to get that message across to them. The thing that is common between us and any other person is that we are humans. We do not have the same faith and we do not lead to the same God. Our God is a living God, is a holy God, is a righteous God who loves all people. That's the message that we can get across. Uh, uh, Christianity has the, is the religion that has a message that no other religions have. Our message is love. Love unfolding from Genesis to Revelation. It's the story of love. How God loved man and worked throughout history to redeem man. He's going to glorify man in eternity. It's a story of love. And that message, no other religion in the world has that message. What we find in other religions is do's and don'ts. Thank you for watching Force Camera Action. Before you go anywhere, don't forget to click subscribe. Interesting video. This entire time, at first I was actually agreeing with the message where we should let love lead us so that we are able to love our brothers and sisters from other religions just not not just christianity and islam but then when you sit down and actually listen to the message that's been spoken about i'm a little bit confused if if we're supposed to love our brothers and sisters from other religions why are we always so keen to bring up the wrongs that we see in the religions it doesn't make sense first stop finding the wrong in those people and look at them as humans Look at them as just your brothers. And I beg to differ. I really feel like we have a lot of things in common with people from other religions, whether we like it or not. We're saying pray to one God, they're saying pray to one God, they're saying pray to one God. How is that not a similarity? We're so over our head trying to make the 
religions we believe in look better than the other, which shouldn't be the case. Above everything, we should love one another. Above everything, you can't love someone and say, funny, you look good, but I think that top would look better on me. No, that's not a compliment. Love someone for who they are, not what you want them to be. Otherwise, this was interesting. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and let me know what you think about this video. And I'll see you next time.